Hello everybody, and welcome back to SCP Containment Breach with MuxFu. And this is currently the second session of attempting this game. Uh, about three or four days, I think, after the first time I tried it. And this time I'm going into the game with a lot more knowledge about what SCP is. I actually went to the SCP wiki and I've looked up probably about a hundred of the so-called SCPs, which are... I had no idea what any of this was going into this game, so that this session will be a bit easier for me and probably easier to watch than the first session was. Uh, because now I understand that SCPs are artifacts, paranormal artifacts or such like that. And that there are actually three different classifications which I had not been aware of. Safe, which is something that's understood, uh, but is not necessarily safe in the normal sense of the word, as in it's not dangerous. A gun would be safe. A nuke would be safe. These are the defin the this is these are, these are the examples they're giving with the official definitions of safe on the SCP website. A Euclid is something that is not understood, and or sorry, a safe something considered safe is not understood. That is an SCP, but it is not necessarily something that is actively seeking to harm. A Euclid is something that is it's act. It is actively seeking to harm. Well, not necessarily actively, but it cannot be... The harm cannot necessarily be turned off. Um, it, it's a gray distinction, as well as Keter and Euclid. There's a gray distinction between those two as well. A Keter is just a really, really bad Euclid that really seeks to harm humanity. And... I don't know, looking up on it, it actually seems a lot cooler than this game presents it, because it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, if you took the scenarios and creatures from X-Files or the Twilight Zone, and you put them into the environment of Half-Life, with like the labs containing and testing them. It would be kind of like that, which I, I think is really, really cool. But enough about that. We'll move on. See, I thought that these guys, the statue guys, were actually called Euclids in my naivety. And I did not realize that they were SCP-173. That was their designation, rather that Euclid, and that Euclid was a classification. See, SCP-173. Anyway, I also found out you can actually open up your inventory with tab. Apparently it stops the game. It pauses it. So that is the way to pause. I think we, yeah, we can pause with escape as well, but yes. Okay, good. That is good. Um, that is, I know I, I compared this to Alone in the Dark the first time. Alone in the Dark, you would not be able to do this it would still keep going, which is one of the main complaints about Alone in the Dark. I also found out that space, you blink, you shut your eyes, and that refreshes that bar at the bottom left. Now the thing with these guys is that you're, you're supposed to always keep them in sight. They are basically like weeping angels. No, I will not. I will be getting the hell out of here as soon as possible, because 173 is still not a fun guy. Alright. But anyway, we can now grab this, grab that. Now we can bring up our inventory. Document SCP-173 will tell us all this stuff. And this is straight from... This is straight from the website, as far as I'm aware. And yes, SCP Containment Breach. Uh, he just said that multiple Euclids have broken out. Multiple uh, Keters have broken out. We can, okay, so that is gunfire. I thought that was actually 
paranormal things happening or such like that. So we're going to keep going. All right. So I have seen this room before. We can't go out that way. You'll see in the corner that there's that guy there. Don't look at the monitor too long, that'll hurt you. But what we have to do is put on that gas mask, and we're going to have to hit this, go in there. Oh. Too bad. <laughs> that was a dumb thing to do on my part. Basically, you have to keep your eyes on that guy as you go in. And I was stupid enough to not do that. Alright, so I'm actually going to change to Euclid for now. Because you can save the game using, I believe, F5 or F6. And we'll skip the intro because we know how to get out of there. It's not that big of a deal. I'm, won I'm wondering also where it throws us. Okay, so it throws us in here after 173 has left. Okay, I thought we had our gas mask on still for some reason. Alright, so I'm going to look at this. Toss it. Right now we are safe as far as I am aware. Uh, also as far as I am aware, we cannot... Okay. We cannot be harmed unless we open the doors. Or such like that. So... Okay, I do not know... Oh, F1 is saved. Okay. Alright. So this is unfamiliar territory to me. I have watched a few videos since last session, so I have sort of an idea of what to do now. hate those rooms because you see that my eyes turn red. Uh, it's actually... Whoa. Heard buzzing. It is actually smoke affecting your eyes, making you blink faster, much like regular smoke would. So, makes dealing with 173 a bit harder. Alright, this is 372 class Euclid. Alright, we're gonna leave this. Uh, there's nothing for us in here. Uh, that guy is actually only a nuisance. Actually, it doesn't matter. Let's go in. Uh, I found out, you're gonna see, this is one of the rooms that I went into when I was here, and our guy kept looking up here. And I found out that was actually because this guy, 372, is... You cannot see him. He will constantly lurk in your... In your... Uh, in the... Not dead zone, in your blind spot. So we can look around this world, or around this room as much as we can. We're not going to find this guy. I don't think. If we do, he'll kill us. <laughs> At least that's what the website was saying. So there's actually nothing we can do with that. So we're just going to keep going. Again, I know a little bit about it. I don't know too much. All right thing about this, let's put on our gas mask, because that should protect our eyes from this. Yeah. So that's good. Alright, hear humming noise. Don't know what that is. Close the door behind me, because I don't know what that is. See, I'm wor what I'm worried about is going through one of these gas clouds, and there being something there on the other side, because... I'm just not sure how to deal with a lot of these things, because I don't know all of these things. Open, please. I don't know why that closed. I'm not going to stay to find out. I am completely fine, thank you. Alright, graphical error, that's okay. Okay. Um, hmm, up or keep going? That is a good question. Alright, let's see what's in here. 914, okay, this is a a safe uh, item. This is actually sort of a mill of types. Fortunately, we don't have a key card, so I can't show you guys. Okay, that was, um, I think, 324 that actually took away my control for a moment uh, because you saw that I looked up at kind of an odd angle. That was not in my control. But, again, he is harmless 
as long as we're not able to see him. So we're just going to keep going. I'm talking this much too because I don't want to uh, freak myself out. Because uh, if I'm talking, I'm less likely to have a jump scare of, the, of some sort. And I'm, I'm... This is still an alpha, so I'm still expecting, like, b behind every one of these gas rooms for there to be an instance of 173 that just shows up uh, because well that's what happened when we started the first session uh, 173 actually was able to get out of a room he was contained in and was just waiting for us at one of these doors which I didn't enjoy take this off Trying to remember which way we came from and which way we, we are going. Or which way we want to go. I think we came from this way. I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, that was uh, 372. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Heard grinding stone sounds. Don't, want, don't know what that was. Yeah, so you can see it kind of, you can see him kind of, as we blink our eyes, I'll probably slow it down and show you guys, but, yeah, I heard grinding sounds, I want to know what that was. So, yeah, 372 is going to be hanging around us, I think. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what this is. Let's, uh, take a look, shall we? Oh, I don't like red rooms. Because we saw 173 here before. But does not look like he's around this time. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, oh, there I see you 372. Well, I don't see you, but... I can see your effects. Good thing. You're a little bit of a buddy right now, how about that? Because you're not you're not hurting us. Not like 173 is, so I'm not gonna worry about you. Although maybe eventually you will hurt us. I I, I don't know. <laughs> you can hear the, the tremor in my voice as I say these things, because now I'm have gone far too long. Okay gone far far too long without uh dying so I'm gonna save the game I don't know what's in there but let's throw on the gas mask let's go nothing whoa jeez the alarm freaked me out all right have the gas mask on seeing blood but I'm not seeing anything all right So, with the... Oh, I know this room. Alright, there should be a bell that chimes at some point. While we're in this room, as far as I remember. Let's see what this is. Um... 895. I don't know this one. Cameras, microphones, other surveillance equipment may be brought within the meter red zone. Um, ornate oak coffin recovered. Oh, I hear something. Hmm. Okay, I'll let you guys read that because I'm not sure what to make of that yet. But we found a key card. That's what I was that is what I was looking for. <laughs> There's thunder on in the thunder on. There is thunder in the background, so I'm guessing if we look at that. Uh, video feed too long, we will go crazy and die, or something like that, so, save again. Which, I mean, could end it right here, and just die that way, but not ready to go yet. I'm having, not having as bad a time as I was with the first session, not having, it's not the best of times, but it's not the worst of times. <laughs> Hmm.
Oh. Let's, let's, let's leave. Oh. No, no, let's leave. I see that growth on the walls. I am good. <laughs> uh, actually, we'll save. And we'll go back. Let's see what it is. It is nothing. Okay, I guess it's nothing. Huh. Well, how about that? See, I'm guessing this is some sort of decontamination spray or something. I don't know why it keeps uh, spraying me. But it's not the f it's not the most fun thing because it kind of kind of de uh, debilitates me against 173 if I find one of them. All right, so not seeing anything. Did we go around in a circle. I think we might have gone around in a circle. Oh boy. All right, let's try the other way then. There's no exit either um, at this point in the game, so there's no reason for me to avoid. Oh god, hey, I saw something that way. That's okay, I didn't get hit by it. <laughs> okay, let's just close that. Did that close? Yeah, it did. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Oh, it didn't hurt me. It didn't hurt me. <laughs> I, I hate I hate those sounds of the doors because the sounds of those doors are actually the sounds of a lot of horror. Oh, things are happening. Dun dun dun. It's it's the same sort of sound, which is why I don't like it. So, see, I don't like those buzzing sounds. Let's go for this one. Oh, one, seven, three. That's nice. He can go through doors. That's all I'm doing. I am. I, that's all I'm doing. Kill me. There we go. I, I can't. I can't deal with one seven three. I'm sorry. I saved. Maybe I'll continue it. Uh, but for now, I'm done with this session. <laughs> uh, that was two jump scares that I can't deal with. Um, I don't like I I like the game. I don't like the emphasis on 173. Um I kind of wish that it was a bit more like Half-Life that the player got a chance to explore in a way rather than just be uh harassed because it is rather oh, okay this is the Euclid well since we're here let's at least see what it is um what I'm saying is I'd rather oh higher security clearance that's nice 173 is gonna be out here isn't he don't see him but I hear him I hear him moving I would I I like the weirdness of SCP. Kill me. I guess he can open doors. What I don't want to do is wait to die with him. Um, I, li I like the weirdness. I really like the weirdness of SCP. It does, like I said, re remind me a lot of X-Files and, er, and Twilight Zone. And the environment's remind me a lot of Half-Life. I wish it went for more of a Half-Life type feel, like freaky things are happening, 
but it's not a really scary sorry about that that's thunder it's not a really scary environment per se because half of the reason why I'm having so much trouble with liking this game is the music the the ambient well not the music because it's not music this listen listen in any second that is not music that is creepy ambient sound if it was completely silent I probably have less of a problem with it um, and if there was just more ambient sound I'd have less of a problem with it it would actually be a lot a lot more enjoyable to play like it would not be as jump scary but it might have a more weird scary type feel to it um, I guess it would be sort of the difference in uh, scary games as a Silent Hill game. One of the good ones, Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill 3. I've not played Silent Hill 3, but I know, I've been told that it's almost as good. It'd be the difference between a Silent Hill game and a Dead Space game, for instance. Um, Dead, Space, Dead Space does a lot of jump scares, but they don't have to necessarily be jump scares. I'm talking about the beginning of Dead Space as well. Like, the, the very first few minutes when it's good. Um, it gets by by jump scares. Or actually, you know what? Doom 3. Because that, that, one, that one's a better one. Because Doom 3 could get by on just creepy scary if it was done right. But instead, it tries to go for more of a jumpy scary. Um that uses a lot of ambient or uh, uses a lot of displaced ambient sound in order to get that effect to where it wants to be whereas silent hill has music but it does not have music like this does where it's ambiently creepy trying to get you into the mindset to be scared in instead it lets the environment do that for you and this game has a bit of both and I wish it would lean further to the creepy weird side than the creepy scary side, because then it would be a it would it would just be a lot more enjoyable. Sorry if that was long winded and a bit of a rant at the end, but I thought it was necessary. Uh, anyway, this has been session two of SCP Containment Breach with Mio Xfu. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it a lot more than the first episode i know that i did um there were still a few times when i was like oh my god what was that just because i wasn't sure i uh thought i had seen those black splotches on the wall somewhere else and that it was actually a violent uh sort of scp but it turns out i was wrong um yeah uh i enjoyed this one like i i actually had a bit more fun exploring than I did the first one, which was just, I was almost in hysterics at points. <laughs> um, I'll probably give it a third session. Beyond the third session, uh, I don't think I'll touch it again for a while. Um, I might actually wait on the third session until it's a bit more developed, because at this point the game doesn't have a way for you to win. There is no way to escape the facility. But then you're playing a D personnel in an SCP game, so there is no way to win. Even if we were to survive this, the the person would have been terminated at the end of the month. <laughs> so, um, you know what I I really wish you could play a scientist in this game. That's what I want, or a security guard, because then it would be Half Life. But then it would be Half Life, and it wouldn't be its own thing. All right. So anyway, if you guys like it, check it out. Um, have a friend to hold your hand if you're one to easily get scared. <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> um, yeah, take it easy. I'm a lot more. I'm, I'm just a lot more calm and relaxed this time. <laughs>